Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. My name is Trix, and on this channel we share one little spark of life in each and every video. We hang out together every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and unbox subscription boxes, share our love for all things Disney, review products, and when we have them, go through our latest shopping hauls. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in seeing more of, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Join our community, that way you will not miss out on any future videos. If you are a returning member of our community, welcome. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It is so great to see you again. So when I got home today, I had quite a large box waiting at my door and I was a little confused because I keep track of all of my online purchases and subscription boxes with all of the tracking information and all of that and there wasn't anything that was supposed to be coming today. So like I took it in like gingerly opened it up and when I saw what was inside, I kind of like plum forgot that they were sending this to me. I screamed like an excited little child. We have Disney and an unboxing in today's video, as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail and the title. This is massive. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is my, I guess my swag from the Disney Food and Wine virtual 5K that I did in October. So Run Disney races are put on every single year at Walt Disney World. I think they have them other places in the world as well at Disney parks. I'm not exactly sure, um, but you run in the parks, you take character pictures, you get medals, and swag and all of these things like t-shirts and such at the end and from what I hear it is a really amazing experience even without going and physically participating in the Run Disney events this year I have made some Run Disney buddies over on Instagram they are genuinely like the most magical and supportive bunch as far as like sticking with and like motivating you towards your workout goals Run Disney events have definitely been on my radar for a few years when I was recovering from my last major your surgery my parents would have to help me out of the chair because I could not like get out of the chair by myself and I would do what I like to call the Sophia Petrilla walk it was really the only walking I was able to do and it took forever to get in a place so what really stuck with me through all of that was one day I'm going to get better and be able to participate in run Disney events and thought I was going to races were moved virtual so I participated in the virtual half marathon food and wine weekend virtual food and wine half marathon weekend <laughs> however However, it's written and I am going to be participating virtually for the Princess Half Marathon weekend. So I will have an unboxing of that as well whenever that all comes in. But amen, I thought, hey, perfect. Let me unbox this and share this moment with you. We hang out together. We do things. Let me share this moment with you. And I actually forgot it is a Wednesday video. It is a Disney video. So I needed to have my mini ears on. That's what was missing. So... Food and Wine's Wine and Dine Half Marathon was villain themed. And so this massive box has the Evil Queen, Yzma, Ursula, and Hook. And each one of the races was sent, like the medal and the, the medal and the shirts and everything was centered around one of these villains. I completed the virtual 5K and that one, that one features one of my all time. Let me be real with you. I honestly don't think she is a villain, but she is the villain. Yeah, yeah, she's the villain in the movie. One of my all time favorite Disney movies. Definitely, definitely underrated. The Emperor's New Groove. So 5K featured Yzma. Oh, by the way, if you have watched my Disney Advent Calendar sock unboxing and you're returning to see me unbox this, if you can remember when I unboxed that one, I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's, I'm breaking the box. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this box. What? Okay, so in this box, we have the villains on the inside as well. So let me read what came in here. Uh, hats off, medals on. Congratulations. We hope you had a wickedly good time being part of the 2020 virtual Disney Wine and Dine half marathon weekend. In these uncertain times, we want you to know that we're behind you. We appreciate you and we can't wait to run with you in person once again. So until your next run Disney event, enjoy the enclosed bling to show off your accomplishment and your inner Disney villain. You've earned it. Stay spooky, stay swift, stay safe. Sincerely, uh, Farron D. Kelly, a vice president of Run Disney. So definitely running around my block was not as magical as running, taking pictures with the characters in the parks, but 
I still had a fun time doing it. Okay, so let's take a look at the t-shirt first. It's a long sleeve shirt, which is great because the weather is finally turning chilly here in Louisiana. It does have that sporty dry wick fabric to it. The sleeve has run Disney's logo. Back of course has the sponsors on it. And here is, I'm trying to figure out how I can show it to you. Here we go, there, there we go. So here is the front of the shirt. We have Isma and Gronk with his spinach puffs. Um, so oh, I love Gronk, he is one of my all time favorite characters. So it says a Disney wine and dine 5K wickedly delicious. Ah, I love it. I'm definitely going to wear this out and about out and about like I go places. I am definitely going to wear this around the apartment and when I go out when it's cool for a jog. And next for the medal, which is a seriously, seriously heavy medal. <laughs> it's Isma. All right, oh, let me pull, let me give you a close up. And then the back is just plain black. And then we have the ribbon has the Disney Wine and Dine 5K. It is one of my goals, by the way. I am, like I said, Princess Half Marathon Weekend. I am doing virtual. Every summer it appears that Ren Disney has a virtual series. I'm definitely going to do those virtual series. I did not register for Star Wars Weekend. I kind of felt like if they were putting my race in virtual, like a month or two months later, probably would still be going virtual as well. Um, so I didn't register for that, but as soon as it is safe to run races in person, I am definitely going to to register for that first 5K. And it's kind of one of my goals to eventually do all of the races. So like have the 5K, the 10K, the half marathon, the full marathon, and then eventually, like eventually, eventually, not anytime soon, do like the goofy and the dopey and like all of these different challenges. But this is pretty cool. This is definitely going to go on my wall. So I have two other medals that are hanging on my wall right now for virtual races. And this one is definitely going to go on it. This is so cute. I love Yzma so much. Let us know in the comments down below if you participate in Run Disney events, if you participated either in person or in virtual events, what did you think of them? Especially if you participated in in-person Run Disney events, what was your favorite thing about it? Let us know, I would love to hear from you. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. It would definitely, definitely help me out would definitely be appreciated and would make me so, so happy. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.